Let's solve this by substitution. Now I'm looking to find an x or a y by himself. x equal or y equal. I don't want 2x, I don't want 3y, I want just an x equal something or a y equal something. Now as I look at this, this is a 3y, you got a 2x here and a negative 6y, I just want a single x or a single y. And I see that I do have a single x, but he is not by himself. But I can make that happen. Why don't we keep this x, but let's tell the 3y to get on over to the other side. And let's see what would happen in that case. If I tell the, um, if I tell the positive 3y to move to the other side, I'm in fact doing this. I'm adding the opposite. So when he crosses over the equal sign, he will become the opposite, which in this case is a negative 3y. So I'm going to say x is equal to a negative 3y minus 4. Now, with one move, I have everybody in their proper place, and I'm ready to circle x's new name, and I'm going to go right where that x is and sub in the new name. So if you see a problem where there isn't an x or a y, or whatever variable is chosen, if it's not by itself, you can force that by moving other variables or numbers to the other side. All right, here we go. Let's sub in. You're going to like the answer to this one. Different, but you're going to like it. Okay, here we go. I'm going to go 2 times a negative 3y minus 4. I'm finished. Now let's put the equal. Equal a negative 6y minus 10. All right. Well, we've got a distribution over here, so let's distribute. 2 times a negative 3 is a negative 6y. 2 times a negative 4 is a negative 8. And over here we have a negative 6y minus 10. Now I'm getting ready to get my y's together. But do you notice from previous equations that we've done that they're on opposite sides and they're the very same. So if I do a plus 6 to clear plus, either way they're going to clear out. All right, so they clear out. Now the variable is totally gone and you're left with nothing but a negative 8 equal a negative 10, which tells us that this problem is, has no solution. We refer to this as inconsistent, no solution. These will not cross anywhere. They have no ordered pair in common anywhere. It's finished. The y's are gone. These two numbers do not clear out. It's over with. The answer to this is no solution whatsoever. Okay, so first I moved the positive 3y to the other side. I subbed in in the other, in the other um, equation like we have done previously, and there's nothing left to do. The y's cleared out. I can't solve for y. I don't have a y, and the numbers didn't clear out. There's no solution here. Okay, let's try another. Very same thing. Okay, let's see what will happen with this one. I'd like to do x minus 3y equal negative 11, and I'd like a negative 2x plus 6y equal 22. Now, you see that it's not ready for us. There is no x or y single by himself. But I could let this x be by himself if I tell the negative 3y to move to the other side. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to say x equal, move to the other side, a positive 3y minus 11. Now this is x's new name. That's who he is. So I'm going to circle this and I'm going to aim it right where that x is. And I'm going to sub in x's new name. I now have a negative 2, here comes his new name, 3y minus 11, keep going on your equation, plus 6y equal 22. We have to distribute. And remember our equal signs right down here. So we have a negative 6y. We have negative and negative make a positive 22. Then we have a plus 6y and over here equal 22. Now this is a little bit different. Let's look and see what's happening here. We have a positive and a negative 6 on the very same side. 
those clear out. Opposite sides, they'd have to be identical. Same side, one of each, they're going to clear out. This clears out. Now you have a 22 equals a 22. Well, those clear out too, don't they? No matter which way they, they clear out. So in this particular case, everything cleared out. That means that any number, real number, that you choose to put in this equation will work. So we're going to say in this case, we're going to refer to it as dependent many solutions. Okay? Everything cleared out. So when everything clears out, dependent many solutions. Whatever real number you choose to go in this equation, these equations, it, they will work. All right, let's try another. Let's go with x plus 3y equal negative 5 and 4x plus 12y equal negative 23. Okay, you see that x is not by itself. It could be a y, but I, I see that x is just begging to be by itself. So I'm going to get it by itself. x equal, tell that 3y to get on over to the other side. He becomes a negative 3y, and we've already used the equal, so I'll just put minus 5. This is the new name of x, so I'm going to aim it right there. And I'm, when I get to x, I'm going to say the new name. 4 times a negative 3y minus 5 plus 12y equals negative 23. Okay, we need distribution again negative 12y minus 20 plus 12y equals a negative 23. Now, do you see anything interesting here? Look at your y's. They're on the same side, and a positive and a negative are on the same side, the same number, they clear out. Okay, so that's gone, and that's gone. And now I'm left with a negative 20 equal negative 23. We have no variable, and these don't clear out. What's our answer? The answer is no solution. Inconsistent, no solution. These, these two have nothing in common. All right? You getting pretty good? Okay, well, let's try, let's try just a couple more. Okay, how about x minus 2y equal a negative 2, and let's go 2x minus 4y equal a negative 4, okay? All right, x needs to be by himself, so I'm going to say x is equal to, tell the negative 2 to move to the other side, so that's a positive 2y, negative 2 is still a negative 2. This is x's new name, and there is x. 2 times, new name, 2y minus 2, now minus 4y, minus 4y equal negative 4. It's time to distribute. So we have a 4y here, a negative 4, then we have a negative 4y, then we have equal a negative 4. Okay, let's look and see what we've got here. The y's are on the same side. One is positive, one is negative. Those clear out. Now we have a negative 4 equal negative 4. That's true. And they would clear out if I wanted to move one to one side and one to the other. So when everything clears out, all clear, guess what it's going to be? It's going to be many solutions, dependent many solutions. They have lots of answers in common. That's why they, we say dependent. They're dependent on one another. Oh, that's good. Okay, I think we need to go with just one more to make sure that you have it. Okay, last one. X minus 2Y equal a negative... Two. No, that's not the one I want. I'm sorry. Okay, let's go with X minus 2y equal negative 11 and 6y equal 3x plus 33. Okay, x minus 2y equal negative 11, 6y equal 3x plus 33. 
I need the X or Y by itself. It appears that X is the one that's going to be most available. So here we go. Let me just put it right here. X is equal to positive 2Y minus 11. We've already used the equal sign. Here is the new name for X, and I'm going to take that and aim it right there. I'm not just doing that for you. I'm doing it for me. Because if I don't aim it where it goes, I will accidentally send it to the Y, which this is not the name of Y. This is the name of X. Okay. I'm going to say 6Y equal 3 times 2Y minus 11 plus 33. Okay, time to distribute, at least on one side. 6Y equal 3 times 2 is 6Y. 3 times a negative 11 is a negative 33 plus 33. Okay, it's important to see where the equal sign is. Our y's are on opposite sides. Opposite sides, the very same number. No matter which way you go, they're going to clear out. So those clear. The 33, positive and negative, are on the very same side. Same side, different signs will also clear out. So when all is clear, we're going to say dependent many solutions. So in this video, in the previous one, you saw two different ways or two different things that we do to solve a system of linear equations through substitution. The first one, we already had uh, an equation prepared for us the way it needed to be. And in this one, we had to physically make a move to get an X or a Y by itself so we could begin the substitution process. Good job.